Hi, this is John with Light of the Scripture, uh, encouraging you to get deep into the Word of God so that you can be protected against the evil mindset of this world and with the Bible, with the Scripture. And today we're going to look at John uh, 1, 4, and 5. And if you can, give us a thumbs up or a like or a heart and uh, just, uh, uh, or share or leave a comment. And any way that you engage with the page will help the algorithms to get the Word of God out to more people. Here with John 1, 4, and 5, it says, In Him was life, and that life was the light of men, the light that shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not overcome it. Uh, Jesus Christ is the absolute light of this world. And he's the one that brought the truth of God to this world. The truth of God had been revealed to men previously through the prophets. And the uh, uh, Bible is full, Old Testament of the Bible is full of uh, uh, truth before Jesus Christ came. But uh, not the fullness of the truth. The fullness of the truth had not been revealed until Jesus Christ came to this earth. And he revealed the fullness of God's truth and the uh, culmination of God's truth. And uh, said that in him is life. Why? Because he is the life giver. He, uh, with God the Father and God the Holy Spirit, were the creators of this world. And uh, he uh, was the one that was bringing life into this world. He's uh, also uh, providing a way for us to receive eternal life and yeah so that makes him very much a life giver just uh, like his enemy satan is the one that brought death and destruction and chaos into this world and uh, he is a light before men he's basically showing us the way to god so it said the light uh, shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it um people have been in opposition to jesus christ ever since he appeared and it's been a long time ago that he first came but uh, um, you know people have been in opposition to Jesus Christ and uh, they've uh, martyred Christians uh, possibly a hundred thousand Christians a year get killed for their faith but uh, uh, the gospel has continued to flourish all over the world uh, there's you can't think of any uh, uh, company or anything that has uh, more locations than the church. Now the church goes under a bunch of different names, but that doesn't matter. Uh, it's still the church that worships Jesus Christ, and uh, it is uh, the kingdom of God here on this earth. Very very tiny portion of the kingdom of God uh, that uh, is. Uh, going to be part of the great kingdom of God in the end times. Uh, but, uh, you know, Satan tries to destroy mankind and tries to snuff out the church, but he cannot do it. Every time there is opposition or persecution of the church, the church grows. And uh, it actually flourishes in the persecution and, and the blood of the saints. So, uh, uh, while Satan is still on this earth, and there will be a period of time where he will be bound and he will not have any influence on this earth. That will be the millennial kingdom. Um, he will be in opposition to the church in opposition to Jesus Christ. But he will never be able to overcome uh, the works of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that uh, the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church of Jesus Christ. And uh, we need to um, uh, come to that light. You know, they say that if you have an out-of-body experience, if you have a near-death experience, uh, they say uh, there's a light. And you, you move toward that light. Well, we should do this in our normal life, too. That light being Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is calling us to come to Him. And we should come to Him. And we should, uh, you know... Uh, we should desire the illumination that he provides. Uh, you know, sin doesn't like to be illuminated. It likes to hide in the darkness. 
but he wants to purify us. He wants to clean us up from the inside out. And uh, uh, he can overcome the darkness in your life if you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you repent of your sin and you turn to him and ask him to clean you up, he'll do it. He'll give you a brand new life. Uh, you, you can receive him. Just ask, to re, ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart and uh, reject sin. And he can actually fill up the emptiness, fill up the darkness inside your heart and inside your soul and inside your life. This is John with Light of the Scripture encouraging you to get deep into the Word of God.